Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here and yeah, do I really have to say it? Do I have to say, I told you so? Yeah. This this article comes at no surprise to me. I actually called it during the, um, the video I made about Microsoft acquiring Activision. Um, Call of Duty, yeah. It hasn't been on the Switch. But Microsoft says, hey, we want it on the Switch. So we're going to see Warzone and other things. Uh, we don't know how long, but might as well nintendo and uh microsoft are, are big buddies they said for the foreseeable future which is probably until about 2024 it's going to stay on playstation which i think is completely fine but let's get into this article from video game chronicles uh a site that uh has been pretty pretty decent lately video games chronicle sorry dot com um yeah, it says, Microsoft's president says, we want to bring Call of Duty to Switch. Just makes sense now, doesn't it? Brad Smith says, Xbox acquisi acquisition of Activision will mean bringing existing franchises to Nintendo's console. Now, one thing is, you may not have the horsepower, but having everything on the Switch makes it kind of pointless to own anything that's not a Switch. Hear me out! before you say no and dislike having an xbox is is the pinnacle series x right now is that's where your gaming is going to be playstation 5 is a good secondary just because of well the lack of games and how you know microsoft's buying everything up and the question of its future but if you want to be secure and you want to get a home console the xbox is safe but Nintendo has so many amazing franchises, has so many amazing games on the way for 2022, and there's just, as we see, going to get a lot more. And yeah, with maybe the announcement of the Switch 2, which uh, they say the Switch is in, in the middle of its life cycle, but that doesn't mean we won't see a Switch 2 come out and then, say, in like two years and then have this Switch or the Switch Lite still carry on, like the 3DS kind of did, uh, into another two years after that. So, that's all speculation, and after uh, yesterday, or depending on when you're watching this, the February 9th uh, Nintendo Direct, they're just banging. So, with this, this is just more positive stuff for Nintendo. The president of Microsoft has declared that the company wants to bring the Call of Duty series to Nintendo Switch should its acquisition of Activision Blizzard's Blizzard be successfully completed. Speaking to CNBC, Brad Smith clarified that the acquisition would not prevent future Activision Blizzard games from being released on PlayStation consoles. They didn't say when, though. Just like they did with uh, Bethesda, this is tentative and it's, it's legal speak. So... That's almost to make sure that there's no monopoly going through. And with all the things coming into question uh, about this uh, merger, that's probably why they're keeping it that way. But once the acquisition is complete, they'll stick to their word uh, and finish out what um, contracts Activision Blizzard has in, in uh, store with Sony. And then just eventually Call of Duty will be Xbox exclusive and well nintendo switch and xbox because hey they're playing together they're, they're they're friends sony doesn't want to play nice you may lose call of duty you may lose a lot of franchises sony you should play nice however smith then went one step further by also confirming that the company plans to release call of duty and other activision blizzard franchises on nintendo switch for the first time one of the things we're being very clear about as we move forward with the regulatory review of this acquisition is that the great titles like Call of Duty from Activision Blizzard today will continue to be available on the PlayStation. Listen to the words there. Basically what's available now and what's 
in store that's already signed and inked and in you know in contract it will be available they're not going to pull former activision blizzard games from playstation store that's what that means it doesn't mean oh call of duty will continue to come out on playstation forever and ever no that's not what that means most people kind of gloss over that he then added we'd like to bring it to nintendo devices We'd like to bring the other popular titles that Activision Blizzard has and ensure that they continue to be available on PlayStation and that they become available on Nintendo. Yes. Nintendo thing, that just makes sense. PlayStation, I don't see it making sense. Um, and that may sound like a fan-driven thing, but no. Microsoft doesn't have a, a handheld platform or a portable platform. And with their partnership with Nintendo just makes sense. Like some people are saying, bringing Game Pass to the Switch and it makes sense, but I'm not a big fan of that, but hey. But uh, again, Sony needs to play nice. They need to work out deals and work together. If they don't, they will lose this. But I do not see uh, these Activision titles after 2024 still coming to PlayStation. The ones that are already there, yes. The new ones, no. The first acquisition made after Satya Nadella became CEO was of Minecraft. Yeah, that we know. Okay. Namely Invest. Okay, that's all. I read that already. That that really didn't make sense uh, to the video. Uh, Smith also said in a blog published on Wednesday that at least some Activision and Blizzard games would continue to be released on PlayStation in the future. Correct. Like I just said. To be clear, Microsoft will continue to make Call of Duty and other popular Activision Blizzard titles available on PlayStation through the term of any existing agreement with Activision. And we have committed to Sony that we will also make them available on PlayStation beyond the existing agreement and into the future so that Sony fans can continue to enjoy games they love. Correct. And that will be the live service games. I've already stated that. Warzone will continue, but if you've got Call of Duty, Mega Warfare, best Call of Duty ever, Xbox exclusive, Xbox PC, and they'll be like, hey, Warzone, you get Warzone, Sony, we'll, we'll give you st characters from Mega Ultra Great Call of Duty, best ever in your Warzone, but no, it, it'll, nobody's stupid, we, we see the writing on the walls, we've seen what happened with Starfield. Xbox exclusive. But hey, there you go. And Elder Scrolls 6, Xbox exclusive. It's already been said. Um, I, yeah, they're, they're, Microsoft's not going to let that one go. But hey, what do you guys think? I thought I'd bring this one to you. Uh, I thought it's pretty interesting. Plus, it backed up a lot of the things I was saying before. It kind of just proved me correct. And hey, uh, tell me what you guys think. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more Activision Blizzard titles coming to the Switch. There have been plenty. We've got the Crash. We've got the, the Spyro, of course. You've got the um, uh, Diablo games that came to the Switch. So, hey, yeah, I, I, could, I could see more. This would be fantastic. But, uh, again, tell me what you guys think. Drop it in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Follow us on our socials. Check out our Spring Shop link in the description below where you can get all kinds of great Red Bandana Gaming merch just like this shirt here. Really helps support the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like we always say, be legendary. Thanks, guys.